Son, we're in a bad way. This thing won't run right. I know it's gotta be that fuel pump. We gonna have to fight today or are we just going well, That's up to you. I didn't ask for no dang trouble, and I didn't well, I tell them they've been calling in on you. For yeah. what I ain't done damn Run the damn moonshine again. I couldn't get a car to run to make no moonshine runs if Don't I had you to. Lie to me. Get your rest up there. Another day at the office. little CTR. He's a taping the winders off on this thing. Now I lost all the footage that I had of doing and things so what we're gonna do is show you about what it looks like. Just kind of feather edged and burnt through and paint wasn't horrible. It had some some rock chip damage you know and maybe just a little bit of lacquer check to it in a couple places where it wasn't sanded well when they worked at it before we're taping this thing off and predominantly I knocked it down with 80 grit and then I went back over all the trunk deck lid and the top and the hood with some like 180 to slick it back down minimize sand and scratches man this thing is really straight it's just amazingly straight there's a little ding right there to fix. And right here on top, see that right here. There's a little dent that was a repair before and I dug out all the previous Bondo and that's about it, man. I mean, this thing is not really bad shape. That was a rock chip or something, a little defect and I burned it back and feather edged it. If you'll notice, you'll see the layers of paint. You know, there's metal and then there's factory primer and Maybe that's factory primer too. I don't know, they might probably burn paint clean off of it, but this is another layer of primer and paint. But just burn them back there where they're really wide. And it probably won't leave a flat spot or anything by the time I block this thing once or twice, it'll, it'll be straight. But you notice there's some grinding marks here from the past, you know, where they've done a little work on it and dressed it back down couple little low spots that that's where they that's where they smoothed out but this is what we're going to do stay tuned we'll bring you up with some epoxy primer and then i like to go back over it when it flashes real good i'll go back over it with urethane and it's the hottest shit outside it's like 98 or something so when we get done taping this off i'm going to bring you back into the into the fray with me and hopefully we can block this thing down tomorrow i'll fix my dent and i'll spot it back in and hopefully tomorrow evening we'll start laying some paint on it we're going to do a lace paint job on this car we're going to do a base color of granite blue that i've mixed up and we're going to throw a bunch of metal flake to it i mean a bunch of metal flake to it and then we'll lay some pewter colored lace paint on it and then clear the dog snot out of it. But I'm probably gonna clear it and then lace paint it after the clear set real good, just to give it some more depth between the lace and the base color and the flakes. So stay tuned, CTR baby. We're doing impossible every day building a car.
Roger Vector 9 are over. Come on. I didn't hear no Alpha I'm Fox dogs I'm supposed to say Alpha Fox you. dogs. <laughs> Says everybody else. Oh, quick and dirty is not quick. And it ain't very dirty no more. It's getting shiny. It looks pretty We've dirty been a right now. Pouring the flake to it. We've been a pouring the flake to it. Now we're wet sanding it off so we can put some more clear to it. And it will be pretty very soon. We're gonna paint it down to this line, then I'm gonna do my body work down the sides and get them all prepped up and ready to go. And then we'll start our paint scheme on down, then we'll put our lace paint and everything on top of it. It's gonna be cool. But I gotta get it leveled down real smooth first so I can get a, a good solid layer of clear on it that's smooth and shiny. And then I'll scuff it back one more time and we'll do our lace paint and then we'll go to pour and clear on top of it. So this flake's pretty good size. So it feels like sandpaper all by itself. Some real coarse sandpaper. I mean, it's got some grit sticking up, but it sure is shiny. <laughs> If I had my way, I'd just keep pouring clear on it until it was buried, but it don't work that way with this, this stuff we're using. I don't like it. I put quite a bit of clear on top of it to get it stuck kind of in between layers. Clear first and then a layer of it and then some more clear on top of it. So it's kind of encased. But we'll knock the tops off the little sparkly things level the clear out a little bit and get another shot on it and we'll take you some more pictures in a minute. It's gonna be cool. Big block with a glide, quick and dirty. I'm out.
talking. Hi, all. You should probably get behind me so we can uh -huh. have the glare, but... There. What do you think of what we're doing here, kids? We're taping off some panels. We're gonna lace paint these three main pieces and all of this will be solid in the, that gold tone pewter color and the lace will be pewter as well. And that ought to dress it right up. All of these individual squares will be a wrap in the center. And we're gonna do something similar on the top. And I think you're all gonna like the hood a lot because we've got kind of a cathedral panel we're gonna put across the nose wraps and lace it in and we'll reverse that part of it. When we spray it, we'll spray out in front of the lace in the box, but leave the tail on it where it's cathedraled into a solid tone. It'll be pretty. Come back and watch in a minute. We've got to tape a bunch of shit off. I'm out. CTR is doing it backwards yet once again. Not the order we're supposed to do things in, but it's the order's gonna get done. You think y'all can live with this beautifulness? Let's see how it turns out. That ought to be some gold in it. That ain't the color I was gonna dig up, but it'll work.
It's hot, it's sweating, it's terrible. But if you look in there, the cloud is great. The cloud is extremely great. We lace painted that baby right there on the spot. Ooh, and it looks good where that one blew up. That very We're edge. Flipping up. I couldn't I couldn't tell what it was gonna look like until that piece. I had a pretty good idea. Flipped up, it looks good. I knew about how much paint I was throwing at it. What do you think? You like that shit? Yeah, I like it a lot. That's cool. How long do we have to wait to untape it? It's long enough that the cloud clears. It's already dry. 15 minutes? Yeah, it's already dry. Right on. It's going to be exciting. Then we're going to clear it. Yes, but I don't know if we're going to clear it today with this wind blowing like it is. Fair enough. Might have to wait until evening and let it, let it lay down. Yeah. I don't want to get a bunch of dirt and shit in it. Our luxurious paint booth bins have gone up. You could throw a cat under the door. Literally. <laughs> Small one anyway. Kitty, kitty. Yeah, that one will fit under the door. Are we out? Stay tuned for more entertainment after a word from our sponsor. All right, here we come.
makes lights go out when you spray them dark colors, don't it? It does. That was just a little bit of spraying. Yeah. That was a few ounces of spraying.
CTR here again. Yeah, we got all kinds of things going on. And I'm not even certain how many videos actually loaded in our poor internet state. But we're getting them up. We're, we're getting them up as fast as we can. I know everybody's been screaming at me to have more, more, please, more. Yeah, I'm good with that. We got years of video to put up there if we can get it loaded. I struggle with the internet service here, and there's really no excuse for it. I mean, while this is not an urban environment, I do live in town. I own 16 acres here and two houses, all contiguous, and I am in the city limits. But I can tell you the rest of the world don't give a crap about us, so it's not a bad thing either. But I'll tell you what else we've been doing today. I've done showing you the little red wagon that I have failed yet to name. I showed you Not A Mad and Long Shot. Uh, let's see what else we got here that I've done today. Oh yeah! We have a 63 Bel Air sitting here. And I've went and dragged up a set of wheels for him. They like him. Th them 16s will look real good on here. Got to do a little cleaning up and painting on the centers, but this old car right here, I done stripped the front cliff off of it. I've got a big block sitting there to put in it. Brand new 454 that has never been fired. It's been sitting in storage and it's dirty as crap, so I don't know that I really want to give you a video of that yet but i do have the front seat for it as well i've got a brand new windshield for it here i have the new seal for the back window because it's just kind of sitting on top of things as you can see there are really it's not even in place it's just kind of sitting there to kind of keep the crap out of it best we can but I do have a new rear seal for it. I do have a new windshield gasket for it. And it's in really good shape, man. I want to put this car back together. And when I get done to a point that I like, I'm going to sell this car. And we're going to throw the funds right back into CTR because we've got other stuff to do. We've got to make movies and stuff full length features anybody's interested in this old car let me know i may paint it i don't know i've got the paint laying in there if i want to but it's a damn solid good old car here i should open the trunk and 
let you see what. Look at that. Now there's a little bit of rust back up here in this corner, but man, the splatter paint's still on the metal. We ain't cleaned it. There ain't no camera tricks going on. That's a good solid 63 Bel Air two door post, son. That's the crap Dreams is made of if you are a Impala guy or something like that. I bet out in California there's like a gazillion people that would just give their eye teeth to have this car. My 62 Impala SS that had 13,000 miles on it when I bought it and drove to college, it weren't near as this good a shape. I had to make the trunk for it. All right. We'll catch you on the flip side. I'm gonna make a break point right here so I can tell you about the green wing. Hello! Welcome back to CTR. Yeah, I've had a busy day and we got a lot to talk about, but like I said, I have stripped the fenders and front clip off of the 63. Got the big block sitting down there, and if you will look up at the sky, you will notice all the gray clouds and it's horrible. Yeah, in between the rainstorms, we managed to get something done anyway. By all the parts of the car. That's nice. good. Anything you need, we'll make a list. It's right down to the ignition switch, because make a list. Bolt her in. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a no, I was going to use it right here. Oh, okay. Shove to get this some bitch down in there. Video we have to use the tractor. Sorry it's, for the noise. It's but a video call. Audio call. Like, go show them the setup we've got to relocate things around the video. This is the relocator. Transmission bar. Take a look at the slide right off right here on the corner. Good? Yeah. Oh, there it went. Like You're on your mouth. 